What is up, everybody? Brandon Godola here with three of my favorite bets for this week's Wyndham Championship over at FanDuel Sportsbook. Starting off, I like Shane Lowry to get a win. The required stats for Sedgefield include basically hitting fairways, making putts, and making sure your irons aren't terrible. And for Lowry, they're basically never terrible. The irons should be locked in this week. He's the best long-term iron player in the field. Uh, according to my database, which adjusts for field strength and recency, he's about average at hitting fairways. And going back to that database that I just mentioned, 90th percentile in terms of strokes gained putting over the past year. He's got a pretty solid history at Sedgefield. He's three for four with made cuts. He's got a top 10. But honestly, I think Lowry would be the clear favorite this week if the putter wasn't cold right now. He's lost strokes uh, from putting and four straight measured events. But putting can turn around anywhere, especially for someone as good as Lowry with a putter. And he's a plus putter on Bermuda surfaces. So I love Shane Lowry for this week. Speaking of putting poorly and Bermuda surfaces, let's move on to Russell Henley. Henley putted poorly last week at the Rocket Mortgage Classic, but ranked third in strokes gained at Tita Green. Now he's heading to a course that will reward his precision uh, even more, honestly, than it did last week. This time, though, he's on Bermuda Greens, and that is the surface he puts best on, and that he's actually been on for all three of his career uh, PGA Tour wins. Uh, Henley is second behind only Lowry in long-term adjusted iron play. He's a dominant birdie maker and he'll have to be this week because the winning score generally does go low uh, at this event. Because of the putting concerns, I mean, you can't guarantee that he will figure out the putter for this week. I, th I think that Henley makes for a strong top 10 play uh, as well as an outright for this week. Finishing up, I like Keith Mitchell uh, to get a win as a bit of a long shot this week. He's, he's kind of returned into a reliable putter. He puts together spike weeks with the putter at an impressive rate. He's done so in 35% of his events over the past year, getting to a, what is a PGA Tour you know, 80th percentile outcome or better. So that's a really good number for him. That ranks seventh in the field behind basically the guys you would cherry pick from this week's field as being the best putters in the field. Uh, so Keith Mitchell, just behind those guys, which is really interesting for this week. The recent shotling form is quite strong. He's a plus fairway finder, even with great distance relative to this field. It's maybe not the most ideal setup for him, but he's got great birdie numbers, and that's supported by strong underlying putting data based on his distance splits. So Keith Mitchell definitely can go out and pick up a win this week, but I'm also looking to safeguard things with a top 20 play as well on Keith Mitchell. That'll do it for my favorite bets for the Wyndham Championship. Best of luck this week. Let's hit a winner.